Yo, what up, what up, it's Kiss CJ City, so we back with a brand new video. Today, we are going to be talking about my top five guilty pleasure fragrances, all right? These are fragrances that some will probably be ashamed or embarrassed to actually enjoy and actually wear, man. Or, you know, maybe some people might be a little weirded out if you told them you wore these fragrances. They'll be like, really? You like that, man? So we're just gonna be talking about some of these fragrances that are just kind of like low-key guilty pleasures. I know it'll be shameful or embarrassing to others, but to me, I like them, man, and I enjoy these fragrances, okay? So it's a little dope concept, something a little different, man, but I wanna just kinda go ahead and let you guys in a little bit because we family, so we're gonna talk about some of these guilty pleasure fragrances, all right? So the first fragrance on this list right here is actually gonna come from the house of by Killian, and this one right here, is going to be called <laughs> Princess. <laughs> huh? What, what'd you say? See, what, what was that thing called? Ah, man, this goddamn fragrance is called Princess, man. Ah, I know, bro. And it, to make things worse, the, let's read the full name. The full name of this fragrance is called I Don't Need a Prince by My Side to Be a Princess. Oh my gosh. Imagine you out there and you wearing this fragrance as a man and somebody look at you like, man, that's smelling good right there. What you wearing, fam? And you just like, yo, this one right here is, I don't need a prince by my side to be a princess. Can you imagine as a man telling somebody else that this is the fragrance that you wearing? How embarrassing would that be, man? But I'm telling you, the juice inside of this is good. I can't even front. That's why it's a guilty pleasure. I hate the name, but the juice inside is good. Obviously, this is marketed towards women, but if you guys actually experience this fragrance, you go read the note breakdown, it has nothing to do with a woman, man. Like, there's no peach in here. There's no, like, perfume type of vibes. Basically, what you get with this thing in the opening, you get a nice, fresh ginger type of accord, and then it goes into, like, this tea vibe, man. So you get, like, this fresh ginger, you get this tea vibe, and then you also get, like, this powdery marshmallow in here, okay? Actually, I think that's the only three notes that they list in here. I think you get ginger, you get tea, and you get marshmallows, okay? But I'm telling you, man, the marshmallows, it doesn't make this fragrance smell like a straight girl or anything like that it's really like a nice powdery relaxing spicy ginger tea type of vibe man and you get that marshmallow note and it's a good fragrance man i can't even front the opening is a little weird because all three of those notes they're kind of like jockeying for position it's just like it kind of doesn't know what it wants to be in the opening it's just like a, a big old mixture of ginger tea marshmallow and it, it just doesn't work well in the opening but as it starts to dry down everything starts to come together and this fragrance starts to shine a little bit man so i really enjoy this fragrance like I said it's a guilty pleasure i ain't gonna be putting this on many lists i ain't gonna be encouraging everybody to go out there as men go out there and buy this princess nah i'm not gonna be doing that but when i want to enjoy this scent profile best believe i'll be wearing this fragrance right here all right so you know that's what i'll be wearing and if you catch me wearing this fragrance you ask me yo city what you wearing right there and i tell you oh this is called by killian just know it's called princess okay so let's go ahead and move on to the next fragrance on this shameful Guilty pleasure list right here. Now I'm just playing. But the, the fragrance is going to come from the house of Givenchy. And this one right here is actually going to be called Pie, all right? So this is just the original Pie. And this is a guilty pleasure of mine because, honestly, in my mind, I feel like this can come off as a bit dated, okay? So it's not like dated, like you smell like an old man or anything like that. But it's just like an old fragrance. Like, you don't get no cool points or nothing man it's just it's almost like somebody showed up and they wearing filas man <laughs> or you know you got a fila shirt you got a fila you know sweat jumpsuit or something like that or maybe you got a fubu shirt on or something like that it's not that the shirt would be bad it would just be like fam this is 2021 you still wearing fubu bro like you still wearing fila i don't know it just kind of gives me that type of vibe when i'm wearing this maybe that's a childish mentality but that's how i feel with this fragrance man and I just feel like it's still good though. To this day, it reminds me of, you know, back in the day when I used to wear this fragrance right here, before I was even really into fragrances. I don't know, maybe this was just like a cheap fragrance at the time and I bought it. I used to wear this and I used to wear Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Mans, and I used to just wear those two fragrances, man. And I still enjoy this fragrance to this day, even with all of the bottles that I have, I still wear this. It's a little guilty pleasure of mine, but really good, fresh, powdery, vanilla type of fragrance. but. I do enjoy it, man. A little guilty pleasure of mine. I still wear a little old school, man. I think that thing came out in the 90s, all right? But let's go ahead and move on to the next fragrance on this list right here. And this one, yo, it's about to get real. This fragrance right here 
yo, do not go out here and blind buy this fragrance, all right? You will be making the biggest mistake of your life if you hear me talk about this fragrance and you go out there and you blind buy it. This is not for the blind buyers, okay? Trust me, 90% of people are not gonna like this fragrance, but for some reason, I just enjoy the fragrance, man. And this one is coming from the house of Amouage, and this one is going to be called Gold Man, okay? So, I actually have an official uh, sample from Amouage. I had a little uh, discovery kit, and I tried this thing right here, and you guys could see the decant or the sample is basically gone, all right? So, I've been wearing this fragrance, and I do enjoy the fragrance. But let me tell you why this fragrance is just weird, bro. Like, you guys are probably going to be looking at me all type of foul when I explain this fragrance right here. So basically, in the opening, you're getting like this. <laughs> oh, man, I'm already thinking about how am I going to try to get you guys to relate to what I'm about to say. But in the opening, let me butter you up first because you're going to get a nice little powdery vibe, okay? So you get like this orris root type of vibe that can kind of come off as like this powdery type of vibe, okay? And it's almost like, you know, baby lotion or baby powder or something like that. It just kind of gives you like this nice powdery type of vibe, okay? Now, here comes the crazy part, all right? So this thing has civet in it, okay? I don't know if you guys are familiar with civet, but if you're not, ooh, I'm about to blow your mind right now, okay? So civet, it comes from the animal civet. I don't know if it's like a rodent or like a cat or whatever, I don't know. But it, it comes from something that's called um, the perennial gland or something like that, right? And it's basically up the ass, okay? Man, you gotta dig up this cat's ass and you gotta get this scent right here, all right? Oh my gosh, bro. I'm telling you, that's the only way to get that. I don't really know if that note is still allowed. I know they discontinue a lot of notes and stuff like that, so somebody probably found a way to replicate that smell, but nonetheless, it's a smell from that gland that's in the anal portion of this civet animal, bruh. It is so weird, man. So it's like, how can you wear something like that, right? That's probably what you're thinking. But it kind of has this weird, good type of smell, man. So like, I don't know if you guys like, like gasoline or something, right? Gasoline is a weird smell, but some people tend to like it. It's a weird smell that people like, all right? You know, another weird smell that people tend to like is kind of like a rainfall on the cement or something like that, or maybe it just got done raining and you walk out there and you just smell this wet soil or wet cement or something. People like that smell. So this one, it has like this weird smell that actually works and it's enjoyable, man. To me, I like it, man. I know, I know. I'm about to get roasted for liking a smell like that. But basically, you get like that powdery nuance in the opening alongside of that little fecal civet type of vibe, man. And I don't know why it works so well, but I like it, okay? You guys can see I basically finished this decant. So I will be upping my decant. I'm probably gonna get a big one. I'm probably gonna get like a 10 milliliter or something like that. There's no reason for me to buy a full bottle of gold, man, because like I said, this is not gonna be a crowd pleaser. Like I would not wear this out. I just kind of wear it in the, the comfort of my own home. Maybe when I'm ready to smell something like that, I'll put it on just for my own personal enjoyment. But I would never go out into the real, real world and, and wear something like this because I don't really think many people will like it. I think a, a lot of people will be looking at me crazy. But this is a, a scent that I just tend to like, man. It's a guilty pleasure of mine, hence why it's on this list, okay? Now, let's go ahead and move on to the next fragrance here. And this one is gonna come from a house called uh, Fort and Manly. And this one right here is going to be called Faith Sultan Mehmet, okay? Now, this one, I don't really think many people talk about this fragrance, but it's not a crowd-pleasing fragrance, not really, okay? The, the one thing that works with this fragrance is it does smell good in the air, all right? So, yeah, I had to learn that the hard way because when I sample stuff, I go in, man. I'm spraying it right here on the back of my hand. I'm jamming it straight in my nose. And if you do that with this fragrance, oh boy, it's gonna be an awful opening, okay? I'll be honest with you. The opening is very bad, all right? So, you know, to my nose, I feel like it's like a oody, dirty, skanky oud, and then it also has ambergris in here, man. So I kind of feel like they're harkening back to like the ambergris that you're not allowed to use anymore, man. Like that authentic ambergris, man, because 
it's just not good in the opening, bro. And, and again, you know, just this, these weird notes, man. But Amber Grease, it comes from whale vomit, all right? So you have to wait until whales come up to the shore, they vomit, and then people get their vomit, and they get this Amber Grease out of it, and they distill it or whatever they do, and they turn it into an oil, and they use it in perfumery, all right? This so weird, but... It, I feel like that must be what's going on with the opening of this fragrance because it's pretty off-putting and I don't enjoy it, all right? Luckily, it only lasts about 15 minutes or so, man. But if you spray this thing in the air, you don't really pick up on it too much. But a after that goes away, then the loveliness comes in, man. Basically, what you get is you get like a nice apple type of vibe and you get a very nice creamy vanilla in this fragrance as well, man. So it's like this creamy vanilla apple kind of little rolls in here as well man and a lot of musk okay so and it's like a nice powdery clean musk as well so just think about that man forget that ambergris forget that ooh just for a little bit let's talk about that beautiful apple that creamy vanilla that you're getting in this fragrance a little touch of rose and then you're also getting like a nice little kind of musky nature and i don't know if i already mentioned vanilla but yeah you get vanilla in this but i'm telling you this is a good fragrance it's a guilty pleasure because some people would smell this fragrance and be like, yo, city, what are you talking about? This thing is not good. And I'll be like, yo, I feel you, man. But just do me a favor. Keep that thing on. Come back in an hour. Tell me what you think of that fragrance. Guaranteed the story was changed because it gets good. But some people, they might not want to, you know, wait, wait out that opening. And I don't blame you, all right? But let's go ahead and move on to the last fragrance on this list here. This little guilty pleasure of mine. I truly, truly enjoy this fragrance. And this is coming from the house of Parfums Vintage. And this one is not a popular scent, but I like it and this one is going to be called beyond noir okay i know a lot of people don't like this fragrance i don't think this is a, like a highly popular fragrance with everything that they have out there the emperors the pineapple vintage the vanilla intense and all that other stuff why in the world would you go for a beyond noir i'm gonna tell you i'm a big fan of aventus i've tried a lot of batches of aventus and I really do prefer the old school vintage batches of Aventus when it had that smoke note in it, man. And I'm just, a, I'm a big fan of the smoke note. I like it, bro. And this one right here, it has that, that smoke note in it, but the smoke in here is just, it's amplified to like the 10th degree. I'm telling you, the smoke note in here is very, very strong. Almost so when I first sprayed it, I was like, yo, I like this, but boy, is that smoke strong. I'm only doing one spray. I used to just do one spray on the back of the neck and that was it. And then I also used to have to kind of layer with like some, some normal Aventus to kind of have that, that smoke note kind of die down. But, you know, as things just grew on, I don't know if this fragrance just matured or my nose just enjoys it a little bit more. I'm doing about four or five sprays of this and I'm not even spraying the Aventus no more, man. I'm just loving the smoke note that's in here. A lot of people say that to them it smells like, you know, cigarette ash or to them it, it kind of smells like um, kind of like burning woods or something like that. Not to me, man. It just has like a nice kind of barbecue charcoal type of vibe man it's almost like if you just you know you just go outside you got a little cigar and you just lighten up the grill and you just out there chilling and you just barbecuing some food for the day man and that's just kind of the the vibes that i'm getting with this fragrance obviously you're getting that nice pineapple vibe you get that nice patchouli you get a little musk you get the apple the black currant and all that good stuff that you get from aventus but you get that smoke note in this fragrance and i like it a lot of people they're not going to enjoy beyond the war i already know they're not but hey more for me but that's basically going to do it that's going to be my five guilty pleasure fragrances i don't know if you guys are anything like me but if you are Drop those comments down below. Just give us one guilty pleasure fragrance that you wear that you probably would never admit out loud that you like, but let's just go ahead and just be an open book for a little bit and admit it in the comment section, you know, and that was your one fragrance, but that's going to do it for me. You guys already know what it is. I'm CJ City. I'm signing out until next time. I appreciate all the love. Peace.